Hello? Hello? Bro, I know I'm pale. There yeah, we go. Good God. The, the light is just simply reflecting off of my skin today. Great. Great. I'm even paler than normal. Brilliant. Creeper Drool and Mint. Thank you for the resubs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Natural color. Yeah, guys, I'm actually translucent. They based uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost off of me. So I wrote. Hey, stranger. Do you guys want an exclusive look at something? Do you guys, do you guys want an exclusive look at something? Look at this. It exists. Ready? Oh! 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 Podcast copium. Podcast copium. Oh wait, do, do we have a funny 7TV one for that? Do we have a funny 7TV emote for it yet? What could we use? <laughs> Podcast? Pog? <laughs> In my opinion, reveal the release date. Alright, Saturday. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. Podcast. Oh, okay, that's an unbelievable emote. You guys are right. 7TV's lit. <laughs> also, guys, I just want to show you these things. So, uh, I met um, Maskey. What's up, Caesar? I met Maskey at an event at TwitchCon recently. God, I hope it's Maskey. I'm getting this all wrong. And uh, Maskey... Uh, made me some, basically like like top trumps. They were they're like really cool cards. Uh, to the point where I'm actually gonna is this the half zoom? This is good. This is the part zoom. Okay, so look how sick this is. Look at this. So that's that's Dream SMP me. Then we have. Egg infected me. There's honestly unbelievable. But stay tuned because the best is near the end. Here's a uh, Detective CPK. Oh, come on. Get rid of my face. There you go. Detective CPK. Which is sick. And also, yeah, they're all like top loaded in little like packs to keep them safe, which is sick as well. Uh, one of my personal favorites. Restoration Ranger CPK. Uh, then we have, of course, Law PK, uh, Dimension Hopper CPK, which is pretty cool. My personal favorite character so far, the Consequencer. We love the Consequencer. Then we have MCC 23 CPK, right? But wait, here's a sick one. That I didn't know was going to be in here. The collab card. All things MCC. Look how sick this is. It's me, Neb, Annie, and Owen. <laughs> Isn't that sick? And I'm so tired of... Making the same mistakes and I lost myself. But yeah, so cool. Pet the masky, guys. So cool. I just want to show you guys. I've had them since I came back from TwitchCon and haven't had a chance to look through them yet. Your my tier one sub. Naomi Brownie has just subscribed. Um, Kelsey, thank you for the resub. And Naomi Brownie, thank you for the prime. Guys, I think over the weekend, so as from tomorrow night, chat, uh, I have family over again. Mitch's mom and dad are coming to stay with us for a few days. Um, So there's still going to be streams, but they'll be a little shorter probably over the next few days. Um... Uh, just so I can, you know, spend some time with them. I've, we've been super busy for the last, like, two months. So, um, 
you know, uh, I'm going to take some time. But I'm going to use that time, I think, to try and overhaul my, like, subscription rewards in a way that uh, make subscriptions more desirable. Because right now you get, you get emotes, basically. That, you know, you get emotes. That's pretty much it. Um, so, uh, and, 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 you know, no ads, which is also pretty cool. Um, but I want to try and overhaul it. Come up with some way to give back to you guys, uh, that support me, especially for like certain time periods, like one year subs, two year subs, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to try and work something out. Leave it with me. Um, I'm going to have some time over the weekend to chill and try and work it out. So let's hope. Sub server. I could do a sub server to be fair. Uh oh, coin flip. Okay, I'll do it in a sec. What was the coin flip uh, head? Sorry. Good luck. I'm sorry. I'm not. No, I am actually sorry. Oh, another one, for God's sake. <laughs> I just closed it. Uh, what, was, what was this one? Tails? Good luck. W's, please. W's. And it's, you know what? It's Ray. You're gonna. It's Ray. You're gonna catch me like this. It's Ray. You're gonna catch me like this. I'm in a good mood. I see you. Gifting your subs. CPK has I don't want to set a precedent no that if you lose, I'll still gift you a sub. But for this one. But yeah, I thought we'd take a little look through the Reddit. Because uh, I haven't looked at it too much since the event. And I just love to sit and go through it. Who knows? Maybe I could cut this up into a into a Reddit roundup. Burn it down. Also, yeah. Sorry. I so saw for those of you that don't know, I took uh, yesterday off to just work on a bunch of stuff. I had so much stuff to do um, with um, getting the podcast ready. Like it was quite a. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that it was actually good. I wanted to make sure there was content to talk about. Um, hilariously, we actually forgot to talk about MCC Island up until the end of the podcast when I was like, actually, we should talk about MCC Island. Um, so that's pretty funny. Um, but we did, don't worry. Um, I mean, I think I still have it. I still have it up. I don't want to spoil everything, obviously. Oh, it's actually not on the right screen anyway. It's fine. Um... But I asked him about his journey to joining MCC, about his predictions from last MCC and what dramatically changed versus them. Was there any big shocks? Etc. And then we added, I, I added a bit, which I, I think is a really funny, I think it's a funny bit. Each guest that we have on will be general knowledge quizzed about their own MCC stats. So, uh, I did that, which was fun. So I quizzed Ant Frost on his own, uh, on his own stats. But yeah, it ended up being fifty-two minutes. In my, in my head, I want the podcast to be between thirty and forty-five every time, unless I have a guest on that's really talkative. Like, if I get Dream on and Dream wants to in-depth talk about something, I'm not gonna stop him, obviously. Um, but once I've cut it down, I'm hoping it's gonna go from fifty-two to about forty-five. 
And then my plan is to get it ready to upload to YouTube. I've got to make the MCC, All Things MCC podcast channel first. Um, and then uh, I'm going to distribute the audio through all spots, uh, through all podcast platforms, hopefully. Um, <clears throat> because uh, I did it previously. I was in charge of distributing the uh, Fang podcast, the Friends and Nice Guys podcast. Um, so I used a website for that. I've actually still been, I've been paying for that since, since then. Fun fact, just to keep it hosted for people in case anyone wanted to listen to it. So I've been paying 15 pounds a month for the last four years just to keep it up. <laughs> um, I am going to be the only host, I think, predominantly, just because I think the... I think that I have a more direct contact with a lot of the participants. There definitely will be some chances where for like other guys to get involved. Um, and then I plan to do occasional episodes where it will just be the All Things MCC team. It will just be the four of us talking about it. Um, but I think in terms of the main podcast episodes, it will remain just me being the host because then I can write everything. I can contact people and be like, hey, do you want to come on the podcast? It's just going to be me and you talking about it, you know? So, but yeah, I'm excited to see what this could do. This could flop. People, people just might not care. Um, but my plan is to have a podcast channel and a podcast clips channel. Um, and then go from there, honestly. So the, the upload schedule, the upload schedule is supposed to be one one episode the week before an MCC and then one episode the week after MCC. God, another coin flip. Bloody hell. Needs to be more expensive, I reckon. Uh, Airborne said hello, but didn't say heads or tails. Heads, okay. Good luck. Sorry, King. Um, so yeah, so the way it's going to work is, yeah, hopefully I'm going to get one out the week before MCC um, where we can talk about the teams because usually the teams will be announced. So we'll talk about the teams, stuff like that. I'm going to try and make it so that it's players that are in the event. I know that you guys were all expecting H-Bomb to be episode one, but me and H-Bomb tried to connect twice and just like missed each other. And then... I, in my head, I was like, it makes more sense to have a participant who was in the event be in it. I know it's not always going to be the case, but for this one in particular, um, I wanted to have someone who, for the first one, wanted someone who was in the event. Um, we're definitely going to get H. I mean, I would love to have H on second, oh, but we just need to see who's in the event first. Rush underscore Matt oh, Rush Matt, that's very kind. Um, but yeah, so my plan is an episode one week before so we can talk about teams, etc. What we're expecting from the event, speculate on the games and the changes. Then we do the event and then like the Monday after the event, I film the one for after and it goes out a week after. So then there'd be one on the Saturday, then you miss a Saturday, then there's one the next Saturday, then we'd miss two or three Saturdays in a row. Then there'd be another two. So he switched to new post for a minute. Is this your post? Oh, my apartment phone is ringing. Hold on. Sorry, one sec. Hello. Sorry, chat. 
It's very rare that the actual like buzzer for my apartment goes. Um, but yeah, so lots of cool plans for it. Hopefully, we can actually get it all done. Oh, look at that! Seventeen point nine k karma. Come on. Right. Let's have a look at some of these hot posts. MCT twenty fourteen pretty. Oh, I, okay. I like this stuff. Let's see. Let's see if there's any teams that I think I could get behind. Illumina Solidarity, Cup Fan Scar Redemption. Uh, yeah, but I don't think that team needs to happen again, honestly. Pete Tubbo, Iskar, Scar. I mean, that wouldn't be... That'd be a pretty balanced team, actually, depending on how, uh, how Tubbo does. Sapnap, Wilbur, Shovel, Gumi, Cyan, Jojo, Purple, CPK, Kara. That team slaps. That team slaps. Although this team slaps. Trey Lumina, Tina, Nikki. <laughs> I haven't seen Nikki in the last few events. I don't know if Nikki's like taking a break for now or what. I don't know what's going on. Sapnap, Wilbur, Shovel, Gumi. I can't see Wilbur being in... I mean, maybe Wilbur shovel combo. Quigs are hut, Jacksepticeye, and Crank Gameplays. That's a pretty strong team. She's in Pride. Yeah, but I don't think... Um, when was Nikki's last Canon event? 20? Was it 20? Was 20. So yeah, no 21, no... Oh, wait, yeah, no, wait, 21 was Pride, wasn't it? Oh, no, it wasn't. No, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I missed a couple. Missed a couple. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. The thing is now, it's getting so hard to balance teams, like, to the point where the, the post that I made on the All Things MCC channel ages ago where I was like, oh, OP teams but are still balanced. They're now like regular teams, basically. Yeah, so chat recently, it used to give me a it used to give me a warning when I was gonna, when subs were going to start. But then now it just doesn't. I don't know why it stopped doing that. So I used to be able to see what, sorry, when ads were going to start. What is this? What is this playlist RNG? There's like a thousand songs in this. Kills, freezes, and crates. Oh, interesting. So it says kills and frost with 11. Holy. I got zero. Good to know. Good to know. Freezes, though. I got four to six. That's, you know. And with 15 freezes. Holy hell. Crates. Oh, it doesn't go. Wait. Oh, this is team kills. Okay. We only got seven kills and we finished like third in that game. <laughs> crates, 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 crates. <sighs> this is wild. Oh, it doesn't have individual crates collected, though. Because that was the one thing I felt like I did in this event, was I did good with the crates for the middle. Nice. What is... Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh. Thanks. Love you. Sorry, guys. Uh, with Mitch's uh, dad coming over, I ordered us some world beers to try. Some beers from around the world. And uh, usually things get dropped off in the lobby. Uh, but the guy actually brought them all the way to the door. Absolute legend. Um, what's all this then? Oh, I tried to do the peep maneuver. Peaceful. Oh, oh. What is happening? Oh, I tried. Oh, 
What is going on? Was Ant just doing a little trolling? Like, Ant almost just lost the round because of that. Top 10 MCC bro moments. Oh, that's a good YouTube video. That's a good idea. Oh, there's no context though, and I don't remember a lot of these. Sag. Oh, the Iron Door. Yeah, the Iron Door, I remember. But that way, that wasn't MCC 17, right? Wasn't that MCC 9? Oh, that's here. Is it a glitch? Yeah, this is. This is the Iron Door. Does anyone have water? Was Fruit setting himself on fire at the start of the game? No way Sylvie catches both of us, gets caught and loses the round. <laughs> I am now the longest running loser in MCC. My last win was MCC 1, November 2019. Just let me team with Dave. Just let me team with Dave. Just let me team with Dave. We can fix that. We can fix that, Dave. MCC 11 be like, I mean, let me team with Dave again. Now that I'm good. I wasn't good in MCC 11, all right? Also, that was back when I had the curse. Do you guys remember the OG curse? I'm unsure if you do. No, not 17th. Although, no, yeah, not 17th. The OG curse was that I would make uh, players who are better than me have their lowest placements. Uh, so I think it started, it started here. It started in MCC 8, where I think it was Calvin uh, NCC 8. Yeah, Calvin got 24th place. He's got 13th, 5th, 10th, 24th. Right? So it started here. So I outperformed... I outperformed the best player on the team. Didn't it start in 6? No, what? Did it? Who underperformed in 6? No, so, so it's when it's... To be fair... I guess it depends if you guys, you guys see the curse as something different to mine. In my head, the curse was that I would perform better than the best player on the team. So I didn't do that in uh, six and seven. I guess if it's just, I made people get their worst placement, then yes, that curse starts in six. And MCC eight is when I started, I performed better than the obvious better player on the best player on the team. So I performed better than Calvin here and Calvin was absolutely the best. I think it was MC9. I performed better than Tapple. Yeah, Tapple got 20th. Uh, and I got 17th. These bloody 17th, 17th, for the love of God. And then I missed 10th and then got 12th place. But I think Kratzy in MC11. Uh, yeah, got 16th. Which is, until recently, his worst placement. And I think it stopped here. I think Pete still popped off. But then again, did Pete still get a lower placement in 12 or no? Oh no, fifth. He was still he was still on track. He's still on track. But yeah, so that was the, the OG curse in my eyes. Mirrored H tier. No, we don't want that. More Sylvie appreciation. I'm really proud of her because Sylvie's putting so much work to practicing it better for MCC and it's really paid off when you compare to a season one or season two stats. Since MCC 16, she has never fallen below 1900 coins. Yeah, Sylvie's actually a pop-off player. It's crazy. Fifth technically was his work. Stop it! Stop it. Leave me alone. This has a genuine strength in PvP games because he's taken her post MCC 16 arc into consideration. She hasn't fallen out of top eight in Battle Box. I just placed top 10 in three out of four survival games that have been played too. Three out of six for Cat season two. Top ten for the first time. Meltdown was played too, and it's pretty decent as set in Sky Battle. Good track record with team games. First in Billmar two or three times. Played in season two Canon stands a time. Her teams haven't fallen out of the top half aside from MCC 15. This is true. This is true. Sylvie Popoff. Sylvie in large Popoff vibe. Ooh. 
Now for the bad vibes. Spent the last few months reading plenty of posts with people, yes, sometimes even myself, critiquing certain games of, or choices, and I kind of think we need to take a step back and chill out for a second. So let's throw some good vibes around. Push your favorite MC moments. Zeus 1v3, and taking a purple on his own. Nice. Ooh. Solar Exchange on MC23, a bit late and heard, and in the call, pretty sure, pretty neutral about Sky Battle, but someone doesn't get to watch Hand as much as I'd like to. It was great. Sound of block clutching when Science started spleefing him in Sky Battle was pretty insane, even if he fell off himself. Me and, uh, me and Ant discussed, uh, discussed the Reddit on, uh, on the podcast and spoke about how people should start being a little more, like, careful with the way that they're wording things as to not come across really toxic to players who might not be as good as other players on the team. I think that's a very important message that we all need to start driving home. And I even said, like, I'm guilty of doing it too. Like, when I make the team posts... Like, I would call people support players or I would say that they bring a good vibe to the team and, like, you know, it's just skirting around. I, the thing is, for me, and this is, I explain this again. I'm spoiling the podcast now, but for me, I'm in a really tough situation where I love analysis and I want to be a good analyst, right? And to do that, you need to talk about everything on a team, the good parts and the parts that are not so good, right? But... The disadvantage I have is that these people are also all my friends. So I'm not out here trying to upset anybody that I know and be like toxic, but I still feel the duty to talk about placements statistically. So that's definitely, um, that's definitely what I found myself doing is talking more about statistics than my own personal opinion of a player, because that way I'm not saying anything bad. I am simply talking about their statistics, but I do think it needs to be I think it needs to be spoke about. I think you need to speak about all sides of a team and all players in a team. Everyone brings something to a team. So, but yeah, we spoke about that briefly. MCC participants by the highest dodgeball streak. Hell yeah. Look at this. Jeez. I was on a three streak. Lost my mind again. Ooh. And 1-1. One, one. Oof. What do you mean? That's unreal. 14, 15, 16. Yep. I don't get the idea of better wording because soon those better words would be overused and its connotation would turn negative. Similar to words like support player. No, but I'm saying like you can say that let's say if you were talking about me, you could say something like CPK isn't that great at survival games uh, but he has this going for him rather than just being like CPK is going to drag them down in survival games. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's more articulate ways to word things than just being like this person sucks or this person's bad, which I see quite a lot on the Reddit. Uh, Dream is the only person to get first individual in Rocket Sweep Rush without winning a round. Dream got seventh, third, and second. Illumina got first with a survival. Pete got first with a survival. I can't believe that if I just did slightly better in being too harsh, you mean, yeah, like for sure. Like, you know, you can definitely just, you can talk about things in an eloquent way. You can say that someone isn't great at a game without having to just completely trash the situation, you know? Um, where did I finish in Rocket Sleeve Rush? Was I top five in that? Or was I, maybe I wasn't. Um, it was fifth. What were the coins for Rocket Sweep Rush? It's just so crazy that if I did slightly better in my second game, I could have actually like, I could actually have won Rocket Sweep Rush. First place. And then I think I got 8th place. Like, all I needed was, like, a top 10. And I actually could have won that.
Dream popped off though. Nah, 7 TV's new Soul Kiss. Tubbo wants the team with Scar. I'm going to say yes, all of my content is PG for this next MCC, so then maybe I'll get to be on a team with Scar. I really want to be on a Scar. And what platform are you streaming on? Mixer. Right. Uh, what alias of a person you want to team with? No, see, if I put Scar, I'll look, I'll look, I'll look pushy because I've never actually spoken to him because I'm shy and nervous. Wait, is he filling out the form live? So I'm not going to put him. I'm going to put, I'm going to put Elsa from Frozen. I'm going to say. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, sign up forms are out, guys. <laughs> cool. Scott wrote in all caps, please do not mention the sign-up form and such anywhere. <laughs> he literally can't be stopped. They've stopped showing him the teams so that he can't see what team he's on, right? So Tubbo has no permission to see the teams. So he doesn't know. Now he's leaking that the form is being released. Like, what do, What can we do? Scott said on it before that it comes out after MCC. Yeah, but it doesn't come out right after MCC. It comes out sometime after MCC, of course. I'd say that we've gone up to a week and a half without having it after an event before. How did he not leak Tubnet? Apparently he did in his sleep, didn't he? Didn't he leak a, the date? What's the dream of SMP kids and leaking the forms this month? Wait, why? Who else has leaked it? Jojo leaked it. Purple leaked it. Jesus Christ. I'm like a saint. It's so easy to, you know, not leak stuff. Bloody hell. To be a Lime Leakers team. There'll be too many people now. The team would be too big. MCC24 team predictions. All right. Santa, Bad Boy, Punk, Quackity. Fruit. Captain Cora. Ooh, this is this is a good team. Leak yours now. Okay, well now that you know that the form is out, do you guys want to know who I put on my form to try and team with? All right, prepare yourself. The answer is no one. Don't care. Just want to be in it. I left it blank. <laughs> I very rarely put people down. Like, the only time I ever put people down is if someone comes to me and is like, do you want a team? And I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I've had so many new teammates. I'm going to, I'm trying to set the record for most new teammates. I think H-Bomb has it right now, right? Jojo Solos, Major Shovel, Snifferish. I don't see this one happening just because something so similar just happened. Pete, Smosh Beans, Cup Fan, Rendog. Goggy, Rambu, Tommy, Aimsy. This is a good team. I think people would like this team. However, maybe they're not going on the same logic because by that one, two, three, four. Oh no, that would be a good team to end the first day. And then you'll get a good team on the next one. This next team probably has... If they've done it the way that I'm expecting them to, there's Sapnap, Punk. Uh, who's the next team have on? Grian, maybe... Maybe Wilbur, but I would say Wilbur... It's either going to be Wilbur or Dream is safe for Pink. There you go, Wilbur here. So that means Dream is safe for Pink. 
Purpled Hannah, Sylvie G, team's busted. Don't want that team. Puns, Foolish, Sam, Gumi, not a bad team. I like that one. Kratzy, me, False, and Gem. I, hey, I'd be here for that. So this last team is... Hmm, it's Dream... Uh... Dream, Tina... Wait, is Illumina in this yet? It's Dre Lumina, Nikki, Tina. <laughs> I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. Every MCC player's average team placement in Build Mart. Oh, God! Uh-oh. Updated as of MC23. Most first overalls and to get to the other side. Look at me! Look at me! I'm chilling! The white wife havers. <laughs> this is funny. This is a good team too. This is a good team. I like this. Or the maroon married man. The maroon married man. Predictions are going to be easy in the next four months. Having a 100% win rate in their respective months. False in September, Dream in August, George in November, Sign Up in October. Oh, damn. Hazel Husbands is good. You should put Martin. That, that's who this is. Six Iskal teams of varying degrees of strength. I would absolutely love to see in the future. This is good. Decent. Decent as well. I don't think these are varying strengths at all. I think these are all very similar strengths. The Green Grooms. Green Grooms is the one. That's it. You're right. Why is Fruit Tiny? I don't know. Tiny fruit can't hurt you. This is sick. Wilbur is now the fifth MCC participant whose team finished in all 10 placements. Oh, sick. As I said in a similar post after MCC 20, Wilbur has gotten all team placements from 1st to 9th and was only missing 10th place until MCC 23. Although considering he is essentially set to play in every canon MCC, it was bound to happen at one point. Here's his placement history. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. Damn. As of MC23, the remaining players with 9 team placements are Tommy, Sparkles, Smajor, Puffy, Grian, and Solidarity. As for getting all the team kill... Ah. Oh. Team colors and placements, which Kara has. Joel needs green and cyan. CBK needs lime. Scott's not putting me on lime on purpose now. This is sad. I'm going to have to sub in. I'm going to have to grief someone on lime when I'm not in an event and then jump in. MC23 is the first time every player that made dodgeball has played it before. Oh, that's a cool stat. So wait, what is this? Oh, what MCCs people played dodgeball in before, right? Okay. That's a cool stat. Position for these duos in MC24. So we balance you need essentially every S tier and almost S tier to participate. Don't worry, I'm reporting for duty. I'm reporting for duty. S tier slash almost S tier. Uh, Kratzy and Puns. A highly underrated duo. I do think they're the next best thing to set up in Kratzy duo, which I don't see happening. This is really strong though.
Ooh. The only team since SP's debut where CPK hyped him up so much. Back then, he was not able to reach a potential CPK believed he could. However, now, I mean, this team could break SP's 7th place streak, push him into top 5. I'd let's team with SP. I'd be down for an SP team. But I think, I, I think we might be, uh, like, uh, almost too strong to team together. As of right now. Purple and purple team. Jordan and a third place team. Toxic. MC23 survival games. George. Oh god, yeah, this was brutal. Dream wanted blood. I asked to be teamed with purple now. Wait. Tommy and purple requested each other, and Rambo requested Tommy. I asked to be teamed with purple next time. Well, you know, I asked to be teamed with you next time, you little fucker. Did you really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, but yeah, no, purple. Purple's cool. Why didn't you. Why would you not tell me? No, because I just thought I got filled out because I thought, you know, like, you know, you, I, I didn't have to. Well, know. if you'd have told me, I would have put you. Yeah, so. Um, just so you know how it works, I'm sure you know how this works anyway. Um, but. If Tommy put purple and purple put Tommy, that is now the link that Scott looks at. So the fact that Rambu then put Tommy, if Tommy didn't put Rambu, then that's not an obvious duo that, I mean, with those, with that group of people, like Scott always knows that they're going to want to team together in some form, I'm sure. So it could still happen that you get them together. But if purple puts Tommy and Tommy puts purple, then they are likely going to be like, that's the link that Scott will try and find to put together. Um, if Tommy puts... If Rambu put Tommy and Tommy didn't put Rambu, then it doesn't mean anything. It's like putting no one. Dot. Be sure to use code JUICY on any sneaky purchases. This message was not endorsed by CPT Juicy at all winking face. Seriously, 24 months though. You have been awesome and amazing and thank you for streaming. Let's not promote Juicy's sneak code on my uh, resub messages, please. Thank you in advance. Thank you for the two-year sub. Jesus Christ. Remember, just getting ninth and 16th whilst getting zero coins in one game. Jeez. That's huge. Jeez, nightmare in MCC 23. I don't understand. And now I've got to, now I've got to F11 to come out of this. Grid runners. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Sadness are punning on Puns' team. Is this real? It's okay, I'll take over Puns for first. Don't worry. Ooh, that's a lot of... <laughs> Nice guy battle's coming. And he's not Can we do it in bits yeah. messages instead? And we have Meltdown. Code Juicy on sneak purchases. I'm really think, excited for think, Meltdown, think, but I feel I like I'm going to get very team, confused. Punsy's team will be bad at any game that has a lot of communication. Because <laughs> you have Pun, Sylvie, and Badwood Halo all on one team. Those are all like people who <laughs> suck at communication. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Going in. Could purple Tommy Rambu Amesy work? Not at all. No. No, it could not. That is very, very strong. Scott team with false in September. Harrowin. <sighs> there are absolutely zero canon MCCs where there are no new winners. Actually, wait. The only MCC where there are no new winners is All Stars, which is an event that you That's actually pretty wild. Prove them why you're S tier. Connor doesn't want to look like a sweat. Prove yeah, them why you're S tier. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. He, he came back. He came back. He's I like, think, you know, people are starting to forget. Like, 
in hindsight, from now on, I should stop going easy during MCC, I think. Like, <laughs> I think um, yeah, maybe now that, like, I understand you yeah. don't want to, like, look like a sweat. Like, I get it. Right. Um, That's, like, my fear is, like, the perception of that. But yeah, because then, like, once you start doing that, it. they'll expect, like, the expectations then will be, like, you can't ever yeah. just chill. Yeah. No, I get it. I understand why you only tried, like, 5%. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it even is that it was is. a maybe little risky. Time. Even that time was even then. It was a little Yeah, much. maybe next time. <laughs> Goodness sake. Oh, look at that. I'll take that. Fourth fastest hunter. It's pretty solid. A team with two S tiers can be balanced. There we go. Now, I've had STS team in the past, Fruit Ninja and the Dream and Techno Duo. These teams, however, were both considered too OP to be consistently something that can occur. I, however, genuinely believe we can now have STS teamed and it's still be extremely balanced. First, we now have seven actively playing definite STS Dream, Pete, Illumina, Fruit, Quig, Puns, Sadnap. And eight or nine players who can still place top five without S tier. Purpled, SB, Fundy, Amphrost, Jojo, Me, H1, Kratzy, Tapple. No, he has been a bit nervy recently. Next, there are still a lot of highly skilled MC players who are not in MC, such as Hannah. Please, Scott, can Hannah finally join? You have a lot of players who do not play Minecraft a lot who are still interested in participating in MCC. Such as Tina, Connor, Esports, Ethan, Ludwig, and I'm sure there are heaps more. True. True. Example of a possibly balanced roster of teams. Satnap, George, Bad, Sam. Pete, Quig, Elena, Eret. Tommy, Tubbo, Rambu, Filza. I mean, like, first of all, the, the first thing I notice about this, the first thing I notice about this is, like, instantly that this team is way better than the other two that have been mentioned, and this one is underpowered straight away. Tapple, Kratzy, Calvin, and Wisp. And that's, that's way OP. That's way stronger than any of the teams that I mentioned so far. Uh, Fundy 5 up Martin Joel. That's a weaker team out of this. This is a weaker team. Uh, puns, Ant, Foolish, Gumi. It's not bad. But it's not as strong as some of the ones up here. Um, Fruit, Illuminous, Niftina. Jojo Purple, Jordan, Sylvie, and Dream, H Bomb, Green, Wilbur. It seems like there's a couple of really, really still uh, strong teams. He still put five up and Fundy together. Is that a problem? What's that? I don't know what that... Is that not good? I don't know. I just love to see an of these kind of teams. I mean... I don't think this is the way to do it, though. I don't think this is the way to do it. I think there's a much better selection of teams. I like the idea behind it. And see all stars team ideas. I wonder if they're going to do another all stars or if it's not going to be like. Yeah, I wonder if there's gonna have to be like another thing. Like you have to have got a, you have to have got a win in season two. Scott mentioned doing something for players who never won. Yeah, I think that's been talked about for a while. I'd love to see an event like that, like uh, an event where there's guaranteed like four new winners. Who would ask me to come over just for a day when her parents were away? Now all I can do is lay in my room. Well, for a boy who would never ever let me walk home that way. <laughs> oh, back in views, we're both leaving soon. She hates it when I shout these words, but I'll. Mm. Mm. Uh, I'll list three duos and pick which one you'd like to see more. 
Oh. <clears throat> SBS S tier potential. So when I have to watch SB, it was journeys of us and our oh, journey was of ups and downs. SB came seven three times in a row. He was, but the I say. Hold on. Sorry. Jesus. When MCC happened, I was SB 77. It was a journey of ups and downs, and SB came seven three times in a row. No, I'm actually, I'm actually lost there. I'll get to this. Uh, it's, uh, he took the leader role, almost had his team to dodge while getting third, while being set on the whole community, like NC9 Blue Bats. Uh, the only thing that's keeping SB from S tier is that he needs to, like, get second or third or first place. That's what's keeping SP from S tier. I'd... <laughs> I'm glad other people are a little bit confused. <laughs> are we all having a struggle? <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, you got to remember, guys, that a lot of people typing, like, could be young. They could have English not as their first language. Like, yeah, you, know, you got to be lenient with stuff like that. I was just genuinely trying to see if I could piece together what it, it meant, but I I was lost. I was lost. This love for real. Let me in your arms to feel. Beating on your heart, baby. Poor, poor foolish. I'm crying, laughing. matter fuck, fuck no what oh. oh i was doing so good oh oh my god oh my god oh that's a lot of bits my actual message is you may not fully know what i have been through but really thank you for streaming and being a space where i can just hide in the background you are awesome. Keep growing, King. Also, might want to get your name changed on I-69. Oh, no. What does it say? Thank you for the bits. And you are always welcome to lurk here. Always, always, always. Oh, God. Hold on. What's on? Uh, creators. They haven't spelt my name wrong. I've been to like 16 of those events. I'm fuming. I'm fuming. No! Fuck! What's the matter? Fuck! Fuck! No! What? Oh god. Oh god, that hurts so bad to watch. Maybe we should be making a top fails. Top bra moments of MCC 23. That's awful. Why is this flagged? Never mind. Top 10 painful moments of MCC 23. Yo. Nothing to do with me. The baby, is this love for real? Let me in your arms to feel the beating of your heart, baby. <sighs> you did not, baby. Uh, I was impressed with his ranks with Rush. Yeah, so this is actually really important. I said this to my team at the start of the event as well. So Rocket Sweep Rush was a game that I kind of took leadership on. Not that you can really lead people in this. This song is called Beating Heart Baby by Head Automatica. Um, I told my team, just listen, just don't even go for kills. There is literally no point. You get so few coins, it's just not worth it. Top 10 should be out today, I think. I think that's the current plan. I'll ask now. Yeah, I might go through the uh, MC Island uh, forums as well. Let me in your arms to feel the beating of your heart, baby. The beating of your heart, baby. Baby, is this love for real? Let me in your arms to fail. We used to do top fails. 
Uh, but yeah, this is the main thing. I told my team, don't bother going for kills. You get so few points. Just focus on being alive. Take your time. Fly carefully. I'm not going to read this. No, it's too long. It's TLDR. Someone TLDR it for me. Good post, though. I like informational posts. Like that. That's something I'd read in my free time. Hot takes next MCC. Ooh. Expect Pete and Scott and to an extent Dream to have OP or semi-OP teams. These players are currently racing to become the next five-time winner and their teams in the last three canon MCCs were structured to give them a chance at becoming such. The fact that their teams were predicted to get into dodgeball but they didn't is proof of this claim so expect this pattern to occur until they get into dodgeball or become five-time winners. Could be the case. Strangely enough, I'm unsure if we'll see another five-time winner emerge from 24, 22 and 23 had chances for it to happen. Dream and MC22 a Pete and Scott's teams predicted to be in dodgeball. However, what happened was the players who have yet to win have earned their long-deserved wins from this. It's likely that we'll be seeing this pattern again, or perhaps not at all. Dream sometimes deafens, for example, during Ace Race and Rockets Week Fresh. He didn't and listen to Awesome Strat, which has him a lot. Yeah, for sure. I love this song so much. Those weren't really hot takes. Uh, no, they were lukewarm takes, honestly. Zeus joined the MCC server right as the lightning struck. Wait, let me listen to this chorus first. Oh. So good. Oh, he's... <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, oh it's that? Zeus coming in. Is it Zeus? They're leaving. No, don't leave. Tap <laughs> going in. SP's. Oh. oh. So close, come on. And oh. Could and could go in. Uh, this use that is a great 70 VMO. Oh. I'll quickly make the post. He's just about to do it. That's actually unreal. That is unreal. How many times a player has gotten a higher individual placement than their team's placement? Zero, but very close though. No! God damn it. Did this clip get removed? Ugh, he killed that! Yeah, that's definitely part of the route I'm gonna take in the next one. MC All-Stars 2, the team we don't deserve but the team we get. <laughs> Purple's MCC VOD review. There are 10 rooms. Each room varies in price. The most expensive hotel room. <laughs> it's going well. Purple's killing it. How many rockets everyone fired in our... 87 rockets?! Jesus! Okay, Scar! Relax! <laughs> so what you can see here is you can see a big difference in those who do a lot of elytra hopping and those who do a lot of rocket jumping so this is rocket jumpers rocket jumpers rocket jumpers i'm like the barrier of rocket jump x elytra hopping pizza big elytra hopper i love this song if i'm dishonest bring me back to my
Phil is also hopping, I believe. Uh, where is Phil's? The killer's not my enemy. Pizza Dolphin, he doesn't need rockets. Exactly. End of 2029. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I think I, I Elytra hop a lot. He Elytra hops a lot. I know Pete oh, basically only Elytra hops. All alone. Oh, first round. First round, I used seven to nine. Round two, I used 15, and that was the round I was alive, uh, uh, alive the shortest in, which is hilarious. Round three, I used two, and I got eighth, like, between two and six, and I got eighth place. Mad. This is mad. Scar's a beast. Um... Bingo but fast remakes Even if the game still isn't in season 2 What if Bingo has some sort of remakes Even if the game still doesn't exist I'm at a point now where I'd rather play Bingo Than Build Mart Mm -mm. Right. The new bingo system. Instead of having a 5x5 five five item table available for everyone to start, players would receive the items in batches. Kind of like Build Mart, we can only have three builds. One idea is to have a 5x5 five five table ready, but only having lines, columns, diagonals being released slowly, either based on time or completion. Let's assume that the item unlocks is based on time. If you use 10 minutes for the game, five minutes on batches, a batch will be released every two minutes. When two minutes passes, the first batch will be locked and will be considered as completed for future batches. For example, if we added a column that overlaps the diamond hoe, the diamond hoe will be considered as completed even if the team didn't get the item. Oh, wait. I like this, though. Okay, so second match you only need to collect the food stuff because this line is now locked. So you'd get, so let's say, I mean, 10 minutes, yeah, is short. But let's say it's 10 minutes. So for the first two minutes, you have these things to try and get. Then at the two minute mark, these all lock and then these unlock. And now you can only get these things. Third batch is the same. So then the fourth batch would look like this. Yeah, I like this. I like this. This is a cool concept. I'm not saying it should definitely come back, but... Fifth and final batch will be different. Instead of unlocking a line, calm down, and it will unlock all the remaining items. This... I like the idea of this. So then, like, you'd kind of have to be... You'd have to collect random things that you don't necessarily need, just hoping that something would come up. Which I like. Yeah, mining is the problem. Mining is the problem. I like that. That's a cool idea. It's a cool idea. What would your dream team be? Mm -hmm. 
Right, MC24 predictions. Tapple Green and Wilbur False. That's an interesting team. H1 Foolish Knee Gumi. Illumina Puffy Pearl. I mean, these seem balanced so far. Jojo Tubbo Gem Scar. This is on the weaker side so far. Fruit George Elena Shovel is a little, a little strong, maybe compared to the others. That's balanced on the uh, teetering on weak, I think. Me, Ant, Ollie, Ethan. It'd be a fun... I'd definitely do... I'd do this team for sure. Puns, Rambo, Eric, Blushy is pretty balanced at the minute. But I just think... Where did Blushy finish his MCC? Thirty first. See... I just... I just think once... Once Blushy gets past initial event nerves and is put on some, like, so far, Blushy hasn't teamed with, like, an established, like, strong player. I know we've had a couple of JoJo's team, uh, a couple, oh, sorry, a team with JoJo, and JoJo is strong, but JoJo's also only been in a couple of events. I'd say the strongest player on the last team was Rambu, um, who is good, but definitely is in, like, carry team territory. Um... So I think once we see Blushy get on some more established teams and get past a couple of event nerves, I think Blushy's a top 20, top 25 player for sure. Team with puns before. Yeah, but not for uh, a cannon and MCC. Cannon's the important part here. Yeah. SP and SCPK might be getting their own team. Huh? Similar to how STS and high A's work, SP and CPK may get their own teams that they must lead from now on. They essentially already had this during the event. I don't think we'd see too many STS to team with these two. They'll be treated similar to Kratzy or H-Bomb. They've both proven they can be dangerous by themselves. Oh, yeah, I mean... And Amphrost, yeah, for sure. I mean... Yeah, it's true. SP and CPK are too powerful to be teamed with STS. Other half. We want Trilumina! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We missed the last digit. Oh, wait, did I actually? Sorry. Uh, sat up in a little with Cub fan sniff. Uh, Dreams Major, five up Nikki. They're not bad. It's not bad teams. Elytra duo. Hell yeah. Mm, boom, boom. MCC Fundy edition. Made some MCC teams with people, only people that took photos with Fundy IRL. <laughs> That's so funny. Uba Rambu Sneak Wisp. Jojo Puffy Hannah Kratzy. Tubbo Tommy Jack Tapple. Fins Major Kara CPK. Hey, this is a hard team. <laughs> That's a fun idea. Will Blend to his teammates. He actually did a great hunt though. Oh, I thought you were hunting the best teams. My parkour tech skill was greatly exaggerated. Quig isn't S tier anymore. He has gotten he hasn't gotten first or one in season two. Quigger chat, who wins and gets first in the same event. We cannot be calling him Quigger Chad. I got to draw the line there. Not screwed doesn't mention Bill Mark. Participants, fine. I'll do it myself. I just didn't get... So when... when uh... Scott was in, you guys probably hear when Scott was in my chat and he was saying that like they would bench build more, but we don't pick it. So it's awful. It's not being benched. I just don't understand the logic. Why does the game have to be played to be benched? If they benched 
build mart in the next MCC, there would be joyous reigns. Everyone would be cheering. I just don't I just don't understand the logic. Why do we have to play it to have it benched? I don't think he's been serious. No, he was. I've had this conversation with him before, too. I could take it, take it, take it off. Never felt like, felt like this before. The point to bench the game is to let all games be played regularly. But, like, we are ju we're just benching it for them. We're benching it for them at this point. Also, we've been through this a million times. It's very rare I'm going to want to vote Build Mart unless I think it's good for my team. I do not dislike Build Mart as a game. I think Build Mart as a game is a cool game. I think it's probably one of the more clever games they have. But it's just very rare I'm on a team that is good for Mm, 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 mm. Meltdown coins are fine. There have been some people saying how unbalanced Meltdown, melt, meltdown, meltdown coins, Meltdown coins are due to Blue getting kicked out of Dodgebot, which I don't think is true. Total coins of Meltdown was 10,350. I remember if one of the admins streamed talking about how the target total coins for a game is 10k. Since there are 10 teams, that'd be an average of 1k per team. So Meltdown clearly doesn't give too many coins. Distribution. This is obviously far more important and why games like SG got a billion coin reworks. Orange was 255 multiplied above second place and that was with two round wins. Third was really good. I, yeah, I think the points of Meltdown are actually really good. I don't have a massive issue with them. I think Orange had a crazy pop-off. You have the opportunity to get coins via fighting or coins. I think it's very punishing to those who are eliminated early. I think it's arguably one of the most punishing games on the roster. But, like, you know, it's, it's an event. It's a competitive event. There's going to be, there's going to be some strong, like, games where it's tough. And, like, yeah, Blue had never played it and Blue got, like, rolled in it, sadly, which is, like, very unfortunate. But, you know, it is, it is what it is. Also, I loved Meltdown as a final game. The amount of time someone's gotten first in any game in Season 2, MCC 14-23. What do I have first? Oh, I have an uh, ace race now. It's one ace race, one to get to the other side. Let's go! Do 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 do! Yeah, let's, let's take into account here. Meltdown is the last game is one big warm up for Dodgewalt. Yeah, I mean, the team that absolutely popped off in that game won Dodgewalt. MCC24 team hopes because I'm bored. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Satnap Sam, Sylvie, bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're not going to let me team in purple. They're not going to let me team in purple. I wish they would. I was going to be purple to team before they get too strong. Now, besides this team, also has the return of Nikki, who hasn't played since MCC 20. And Ethan had to drop out at 23. Purple and the CPK being good at movement. I believe with the help of Ethan and Nikki could also play higher movement games. I think this team has a good chance of making dodgeball. Maybe not as good as red, but they can definitely make it. Yeah, that's a, that's a crazy team. Rambo Tommy Sneak Amesy. <sighs> Pete, Captain, Pearl, Solid. I don't think this team is strong enough to compete with this, these two. This is the problem. This is the problem. Teams get like... This gets thrown in, but this is so... This is, like, not strong enough. Are you sleepy, Sneak? You do not... No way if you just call me Sneak, Snag. Stop it. 
stop it. Funny tweet later, isn't it? <laughs> and it got me thinking of you. Should we make some teams? I think we should make some teams. <clears throat> Random MCC things I thought about recently. Oh, let's have a look. Do you guys think if Satnap didn't kill himself twice this MCC and SB, he could have beat Dreams MC 11 record? What's the Cherry Bomb duo? What's that? We know Purple and Tommy are probably on a team. That's not how it works. They're both strong players. It's hard to balance around them. Oh, Fruit and H. Okay. Oh, fruit bomb. Oh, okay, I get it. If Saturn up an MC50 and SG didn't get kill stole three times, they have the individual point record. Dream stole his kill on Ollie. He thought he had one shot on puns, but didn't, and then uh, got all the damage on Shovel, but Tommy's TNT grabbed it. Slime Slime Sigil is technically one of the top ten Sands of Time players by average. Interesting. Could we get Dream to just D on the tab if we teamed him with the players with the longest names? Wow. That's deep, bro. <laughs> Everyone in the Dream Team has beat Fruit uh, in Dodgeball. Dream MC16, George MC12, Santa MC19, Bad MC16. Damn. How much more interest in the hole in the wall we've had scoring that Rocket Sleeve for Russia? Uh, no, I don't think it needs bonuses. Wait, doesn't it? Wait, it has bonuses, doesn't it? Doesn't Hole in the Wall have bonuses? Yeah, I don't think I like a melee option in Meltdown. Oh, the new Ace Race map. Same. MCC 2014 predictions. Oh boy. Quick Tommy Punk Ren. Hans George Bad Skeppy. Okay. Dream Rambu Wilbur Schlatt. Fruit Scar. Oh, these are strong teams. Yeah, orange is strong. Purple Tapple Kara. That's strong as well. God damn. And H Bomb Elena Eret. Sapnap Filza Carl Connor. Illumina Foolish Jack G. Kratzy, CPK, Neachu, Zeus. I mean, the fact we'd be safe to pink is wild. Our average placement is 10th. Good. Good start. This is the strongest team. Damn. How many wins every participant would have if Dodgeball stayed as a best of three? Did they just pick 
like random participants here or what what's going on can i just not see myself on here So if Dodgebot State is a best of three instead of a best of five, how many wins would someone have? Arnishan has just subscribed. <clears throat> Arnishan, thank you for the tier one. Welcome. Appreciate that. I should be here, yeah, because I would have won MCC seven. Seven, we went 2-0 up and got reverse swept. Oh, here we go. Okay, Zeus, Pete, and little bit of Sasha. Oh. Why are all the fruit pitchers so botched? Why are they all so random? He's either tiny or they've got like the crop tool around him. I think Hannah will get an MCC at some point. Surely. These teams are pretty balanced. Eight zero seven nine. All right, let's have a little look. Let's have a look what's going on here. Hold up. You're so generous. <laughs> one has just donated one dollar. Which comes first, Hannah in MCC or Hannah getting her Elytra back? Hannah in MCC. Prepare to be an OG MCC Island player. I have a suspicion the server's gonna get popular very quickly, so I need to establish myself as an OG. <laughs> Damn, the certies. I know that uh, Loki was really trying to beat me on host likes, but she definitely has at this point. I haven't posted since the day it came out. I would love to have this in dark mode, but it doesn't exist. OGs have account numbers below a thousand. Oh no, wait, what was I? I can't remember what I was. Extra verified. You're now extra verified. Oh god. But wait, what's what's in profile? Am I getting like docs emails and stuff here? No. Okay, good. Probably then look at your... Look at your L. Oh, you are L, but okay. 533, baby! Jeez! Post created. Th oh, like I've, I've replied to three things. I thought it meant that I'd made three posts. I was like, no, I haven't. Will MCC players be allowed on MCC Island? Go on, Donut. Give me likes. Give me likes. Right now. If I don't, if I refresh this and there's no extra likes, I'm ending the stream. Oh, 
you guys are so lucky. Never gonna rise to it, mate. Never gonna rise to it. MC23 highlight suggestions. Yeah! Yeah! People are recommending me! What a moment! Oh, this was different as well! I feel like I very rarely get into the uh, the Twitter post anymore, so. No way does this thread to say good morning. Use this thread to post good morning every day. Stop it. Right, let me get the uh Let me get the team builder. I'll make some MCC twenty four team predictions. It's been a while. been a while. I think we've been live for an hour and a half. That is actually mad. Uh, I guess just to make sure that this is right. Just to make sure it's updated. Last event. Hold. 2947. That is right, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Did we get benched? I don't know. Yeah, I heard, uh, when I was live afterwards, Sheep came in and was like, it's updated. I'm like, that's actually wild. Right, let me try and, let me try and think in the way that Scott does. All right, so let me, uh, Um, let's see. Uh,
Sorry, Ant. I know I'm not going to be on Lime. Yeah, I actually think we could see a. I think we could see a, a repeat of the team, honestly. Season two average is three two three two. That's revolting. That's so good. That is actually like so good. You can type in the boxes. Yeah, of course you can. What do you mean? It would take so long to do this without that. Then we can see fruit back on the blue bats. Um. <clears throat> Who am I missing? Am I missing anyone S tier wise? Dream, fruit, sap, puns, alumina, quig, Pete. That's seven. Is that seven? See, you know what my problem is instantly? I see these players... And I don't know where I fit on any of these 10 teams. They all already seem too strong. Let's get a quick bench. I doubt we get a quick bench. Quick was benched recently, right? I think we'll see Dream George come back. Hmm. Every four MCCs, so 26. Nah, you're going to see. Sure, I mean, I could, I could see myself on this team. Also, it's not that, it's not that strong. 2-4-2-4 four, two, four for season two averages. Like, that's not that strong. My last event obviously, like, ruins that a little bit. I mean, a lot of you are saying Tina's traveling, so I'm not going to put Tina in. Hmm. Then again, when were the... When were the blue bats last in as Simmers? Uh, no, they probably won't be back yet, I don't think, actually. It has been a little... Yeah, we could have Ant 5 up back. Imagine this team. Let me think, who would fill this? Who would fill this without it becoming too strong? It's 
Scar. Yeah, but I can't put Scar there, guys. I can't put Scar there. Or else how am I going to do this for you all? Wait, is Scar still not in this? Oh, wait, it's uh, good times. Yeah, oh, God's sake. How am I going to do this for you? Hmm. Oh, but it's PG though. The PG part's going to be the problem. Unless Satna just wouldn't swear, but... So, here's the thing. I mean, I think you guys know how this works too. Everyone's saying Wilbur on pink, Wilbur on pink, Wilbur on pink. So, the team, the first team is always like a hype team. Green team is usually a hype team. Cyan is usually a hype team. And then pink is usually like the most hype team. So, in this instance, I think something like Dream Green would be the most hype team, which is why I've put them on pink. I think other players would be moved around for it. Hmm. I mean, since we know they put each other down, let's try let's try and build a purple Tommy team as well. Without it being too wacky. Hmm. Who made the spreadsheet? Uh, a guy called Ultra Sheeplord. He makes a uh, this unbelievable website where you can track everything to do with MCC. Um, and then it's got a team builder. So it's so sick. It's so sick. Let me peruse the available. Oh wait, hold on, wait. This. Then again, Bad doesn't play that often, right? Like that. I'm thinking bad in there. Oh. Not not in there. Bad in here. Pun's foolish bad Sam. I could see like Okay, relax yourself. <laughs> um, I could see because of the... Oh. Because of the... Um, because of the... Chemistry between Tommy and Zeus. Tommy and Zeus got on so well. Scar with you, maybe. I'm putting Scar on this team. Too strong. Uh, no, I don't think so. Cal, you have two baby, by the way. Sorry? Oh, two bad boy Halo. Oh, yeah, I know. So it went in this one, but I can, I'm going to change it later. I heard that Tina's not going to be here, guys. There's no point in putting Tina there. See, look, statistically, it's not even a strong team. It's like a weaker team. I'm leaving it like that for now. Uh, I'll sing for you. I'll sing for you. Ooh. 
Yeah, so this is I'm I'm I was toying around with this here, Joel. Like eight eight oh three is high. Eight eight oh three is high. I the thing is I don't know how we get you on that team. I want I want a rerun of me, you, Jimmy, and Ollie. But not on land. <laughs> Maybe not on land. <laughs> no land, no land. You know, I'd really like to see like a Quig Wilbur Rambo team. But then like it again, it, it instantly Like, even if I, if I slap Amesy in. And the thing is, I'm trying not to... I'm trying not to just go with the same... Like, Wilbur, Rambu, Amesy, I think, is going to end up like a trio that happens quite a lot. So I'm trying to not keep all the same stuff. Scott does have a hard job, for sure. <laughs> Bro, you put DNF. Yeah, it's so crazy to put Dream and his friend George on the same team for MCC. Guys, I know Turbo wants to team with Scott. I'm trying to I'm trying to guess what the actual teams for MCC 24 could be. That's what I'm going for here. I'm not just trying to make like OP teams or anything. Like I am trying to make a balanced but strong MCC 24. Historians would say they were best friends, chat. <laughs> um, who do we give fruit? I don't want it to be fruit just like looking after hermits again. Who can we give Pete? Pete's a really easygoing guy. Gets on really well with everyone. I can see Pete false being nice. Also, I'm just assuming that Jack and Nikki aren't in the next one because they're both away in Europe doing the streaming stuff, and I'm just gonna assume they miss signups. Could be completely wrong, of course, but I'm just I'm making a prediction. Let's see fruit, cap. Bum 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 exactly. That's why I'm trying to come I'm trying to make these balanced. What I like to do when I'm making teams is like get get all the names on the board first and then I can change them around a little bit if I need to. I mean, we have to give Martin in the Littlewood the chance at the back-to-back, -back, right? So, I mean, maybe we drop him in there as well. But then what balance is that trio? Because that trio is solid. Also, Jesus Christ, we don't have Kratzy in yet. Fucking hell. Uh, no, Dave, Dave can't get benched. I'm benching Ant Frost. <laughs> he played last time. He'll be all right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Ant. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
You got to play Ace Race, mate. Off you go. Oh, it's Anne's birthday next to Yeah, it's because it's to get to the other side. He ruined it. <laughs> I'm benching him for that alone. He just did a podcast. <laughs> That's what he gets, yeah. Ruining my team bonus, mate. Gone. Gone. <laughs> but then do Kratzy and 5-Up know each other or no? Because if not, then I've got to find a new place for 5-Up. I know 5 Up's flex, and I'm sure they'd get on fine, but... Oh, wait, they did hang out at TwitchCon, though. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. 5 Up on Science. I think it makes it too strong. Yeah, that's way too strong. But I gotta get Kratzy in. Hmm. Hmm. You still have two bad boy halos. You're right, I do. He's not supposed to be on this team. That's why. Let me change the bad on this team. This could be too strong, but hold on. Let me let me see. Oh, God, that is strong. Shit. I gave up on you long before you gave up on yourself. Hmm. Yeah, guys, shock return. It's Vixar! <laughs> oh, Jesus, what's I right in there? Um, um, um. Oh, God, this is so hard. The problem is now that I'm, I'm starting to feel this one's a little weaker than it needs to be. Guys, we're not benching Scott. Scott's going to be put in. Don't worry. Scott and Cyan, are you mad? Do you know how strong that makes that team? 9k average. Get out. Hey, gone, mate. I'd rather bench him. Sylvie G flip. Maybe. But then that may make this team too strong. Nope, it doesn't. That's... But then, wait, that makes this team too weak. Way too weak. Uh... Dum, dum, dum. Yeah, to be fair, the last event's busted on this. The last event is busted. I'm playing off of season two averages a little bit. Guys, don't worry. Nothing's set in stone yet. Don't you worry. Da -da 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 -da. Do, 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 do. 
Don't worry, we're gonna do some moving around. Uh I mean eight six five one last eight four four one current event. I mean That's not bad. I don't mind this team. This is all right. I've just got to level out some of this last event. It would help if <laughs> fucking purple wasn't so good. <laughs> My dude, the stats for Sylvia and Zeus are bad. This is brand new information to me. No way. What is the average on red? I mean, the average is perfect. The average is right where I'd want it to be. I think that you can make an unbelievable event of really strong teams at around an 8.5k average. But if you're acting like I don't know that Sylvie and Zeus are better than their average when I literally play in every event pretty much and analyze every event, you are losing your mind. <laughs> As I said, none of these teams are done. They're not finished. Neo True fills up. I don't think Nikki and Jack are going to sign up. Just my guess. Shelby's benched. Are the teams full? Are the teams full, chat? Are the teams full? Oh, Zeus, I didn't know that, mate. Thank you for letting me know. Cheers. Thank you. Guys, I have now teamed with Zeus twice whilst he's being cracked Zeus. You think I don't know how good Zeus is? Come on now. Zeus, have you seen the clip of you joining the MCC server right as the lightning strikes from the elevator joke? Because it really is phenomenal, mate. You should check it out. <laughs> Stand. Velvet, but no ant. Yeah, true. I just slapped Velvet on a team. Well, look, how about Zeus fills this team? 8775 is not outlandishly high. Take Zeus out of this team. I'm trying to think of people who would vibe well with Tommy and... No, see, I think, I think the Tommy Zeus thing is more likely than putting Sylvie there, honestly. I'm taking Zeus out. Zeus is going there. I'm taking Sylvie out of here. NCC, Wiki, Sylvie. Ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. For the sake of balancing, there's a chance Sylvie gets benched in my predictions. We'll see. I do want to get Ponkin.
what is this? I'm going to remove 7 TV. <laughs> hey, I reminisce about a past life. Thank Jesus. Yeah. For a minute, we was cool. Then we flow just a little too close to the sun. Just came up. <laughs> 20 hours. But Connor doesn't play that often, so I'm guessing Connor's going to miss one again. Kratis Major Punk. Oh, God. I what did I do to Punk? Oh, God. Did I break it? Oh my god, I broke the whole thing. It's back though. Jesus Christ. That's a high last event, but a lower average. Is the, the problem is that the last events are so good. I don't know how he balances Purple Tommy. Also, I think there's going to be new people, but like, I can't predict new people joining. So I'm going to make this with the current roster. I remember Dave saying he really like team with SB. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, you know what? That, that fills this. That's perfect. Oh, that's, that's, that makes it really, that makes it like much slower than it should be though. God damn it. Punk. Okay. Fine. 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 But I don't know if Punk knows these, like, these guys, so like, would he play on that team? I don't know. Could Punk go here? Punk could go there. JoJo probably breaks this team, right? Whoo! My god! Wait, what if this team had blushy? This is the, that's the part that's, the average is low. But then I think this team teamed with fruit and, uh, team with fruit and sparkles could like bring up this to be more like this. And then we swap blushy here for Sylvie. Oof, eight, nine average though, that's high. Uh, 
Oh, we are missing Phil, who would likely be in the event as well. Right. Sorry, Finn. Oh, God, that busts it even more. Jesus. Uh... Sorry, Sylvie. <laughs> it's still 9K. Finn's so good. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait. A tapple. This is the problem that Scott has, guys. There's so many people to put in and only 40 slots. What about Sneak? Great question. Great question. Oh shit, who did I just remove? A oh, puffy oops. <laughs> yeah, the thing is here, yeah, that so Tubbo wants to team with Tubbo wants to team with Scar. That's an elite team. I'd pay good money to see that team. That means Georgia need to go here. So now these teams are starting to look good, but the main issues that we have to tackle now, the main issues we have to tackle now are yellow's last event being way too low. And green's last event being way too high. Now, we sort of assume that Wilbur, Rambu, Amesy are kind of... And red's last... Red's last event's not wild. I might tweak it a little. 9k last event isn't the wackiest thing. Swap Sam and Amesy. Does Amesy know people on that team that well?
Yes. I mean, I know they're like on the Dream SMP, but I'm not sure how well they, like how much they hang out outside of that. Like, realistically, do we see bad in the event? Maybe not. Maybe we don't. Guys, Tina apparently is going to be like in Korea, I think someone said. I don't think, I think Carl's like way too busy. I'm, I'm playing on flawed logic here. I'm playing on flawed logic. I'm not putting Jack Manifold and Nikki in purely because they're traveling Europe right now with Amazon and I'm assuming they're going to forget to sign up. That's, that's my only reason I'm not including them. And trying to get people out of the list of people to include makes this much easier for me. Um, then, yeah, Tapple was in 19, 20, 22. Yeah, I missed 23. I mean, 24, likely. So I could put Gumi here because Gumi knows these guys really well. This is like a PP team, right? Is that what they're called? PP Saturdays or whatever. Uh... Yeah, PP sat, yeah. Um, the issue with this is it's puns being so good. And then... Cub played in 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 17, 20, 22, 23. I mean, yeah, Cub tends to be in every few events, so I'm, I'm going to take Cub out. False in 15, 17, 19, 20, 22, 23. I'm gonna I'm gonna say we could see a falseless one as well. By this logic, by the way, we could also see a CPKless event. Just to just to clarify here. Um This is the this team's the big problem right now. This team and the fact that I need to take Gumi off here now. That's still so high. Oh, it's so high. Zeus, mate, you're not on that team. I'm sorry. You're not on the team anymore. I'm kicking you off. But where do you go? Where do you go, Zeus? Ugh! I'm not benching myself. Even if there's a chance I will get benched. I can't in good conscience bench myself. Purple Tommy is bloody difficult to balance. Uh. Oh, God, no. That team average is so high, though. <clears throat> it's 
So since Purple and Tommy put each other and then Rambu put Tommy, I would try and do this. Amesy also knows Tommy and Rambu really well. 8-2 last event, 8-4 average. I think it gives Purple the good team without it being overpowered. Hmm. Right now, I'm happy with most of this. This is more of like a team that fans really want. It might not be the strongest team. Averages is all right. Last event's not looking too hot, but 8-1, 8-6, 8-6. Last event is more what I'm bothered about than averages. Hmm. I don't think I can balance Tapo on this team. I'm in two three average actually. Literally just because they all have four letter usernames. Winners always get nerfed next to MCC though. I, I don't agree with that at all. I don't think that's the case. So now where do my problems lie? My problems now lie that Yellow went from being the weakest team to the strongest team in last event just about close enough behind this. The only way to make this team... I mean, when... What's Sam's playing schedule like? Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Listen, he's done five in a row. Now that's that's the opposite effect of what I wanted. Punk would fit into this team for sure. But then who do we replace Punk with down here? Oops. Let's try to find someone with around a 2k average that would know this team. That's what's tough. Oh okay, yeah, this is where we put Finn. Shelby's down here. We got Shelby in. Yeah. Your third in most new teammates, man. Shelby and Scott. Am I actually? Yeah, I, I'm of the I'm of the persuasion that Finn is also probably not really in. I don't want to touch this team. Just kind of like the four you four letter usernames.
Punk still four letters. Yeah, but I think Punk fits nicely on this team. I think if I put Quig, Punk, Wisp, and Eric, like, I don't know how well that team knows each other at all. It's not like any duos. It's like four completely individual players. Yeah, Wisp is the one that needs to be changed. Punk knows Eric. Well, yeah, I mean, I, again, I don't doubt these people know each other. Ollie's last event, he was 2-1-7-9. Nice one, Ollie, mate. You've ruined it for yourself. Now you don't get to be in the event. <laughs> Difference between knowing of and knowing. Yeah, for sure. I don't hate that. Also, it's been a while since we've had Krinios, right? Twenty one, so you missed twenty two, twenty three. Could pop him in twenty four, right? Yellow looks really strong. Except it's not. It's it's literally roundabout where it should be. 8-4 last event, 8-6 average. I mean, this keeps up with all these 8-7s and stuff like that. Anymore. Guys, how are you looking at this team and saying it's 2 OP? But Quig just won and got first. Right? But what... I think the logic of a team, a player instantly gets nerfed if they win is wrong. This could be a crazy team. I think the problem is that the quick tapple duo is very hard. The quick tapple duo. You're going by averages, which isn't helpful at all. Yes, I'm going by averages and definitely not that I've played in the event with them all 20 times. Correct. I'm talking about the average numbers. I still have a pretty good idea of how good each individual player is. Yellow has an S and two A's. I mean, I agree with Quig S. I'm guessing Tapple's the A. Yeah, I mean, Krinios, you can get top 10 for sure. But as of season two, it hasn't been the best events for Krinios. 28th. 10th, but that was on a team with Puns and George. And then 34th. Like, very unpredictable player. Phineas has an ability to do well. I mean, you could make the argument for most players, honestly. Like, this team down here is busted. H-Bomb always does pretty well. I have been doing very well the last few events and have pop-off potential. Joel absolutely has pop-off potential. Like, the logic of a player could pop off is, like, that could be said for anyone. Like, Jimmy could pop off. I agree it's too strong off of if you go if you take away from the averages I don't think I don't think it's OP with Krinios on but it definitely could be too strong absolutely
Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Mm. You'd guess a purple versus Guess purple versus aqua dodgeball. I guess last event statistically it'd be blue purple. With aqua coming seventh if you went on last. And you gotta remember, some of these teams seem OP, but this is where players have put each other down. So Purple and Tommy have put each other down for the next MCC, and then Rambu put Tommy, so I just put Rambu in there with AMZ. Pete, Jimmy, Martin, Pearl's a pretty regular team. Like, people would expect that, I guess. This would be a bit of a wild team, I guess. Lime, Illumina, Phil's are like Philumina again, but this time mixed with Snig and Sniff. Aqua is way too cracked. Disagree. Disagree. To be fair, Scott doesn't always put people to. Well, yeah, I again, I I know this. I I know how I know how like it works. I know Scott doesn't always do it. I said that I was trying to do it based on what I've heard from people putting people down. No, these are not the real teams, guys. <laughs> so like the same thing like down here, like Turbo put Scar. Oh, Turbo wants the team with Scar. He didn't put Scar, but Turbo wants the team with Scar. Everybody wants a Dream and Green team. Dream, Turbo, Green, Scar is a good balance because you get Turbo, Scar, Green, Scar, Dream, Green. That works. Yeah, I, I agree. So yeah, 5 up did really well the last two events. 5 up got top 10 last two events. But in the last two events, Kratzy has been getting around 19th place. So Kratzy and 5 up both have the potential to do well. 5 up has been doing well with Kratzy dropping down a little bit. There's no saying those two things couldn't be reversed. And Kratzy does well, 5 up doesn't do as well. Like, I don't mind Aqua. I don't think it's too OP at all. I think it's fine. Again, Santa draws Wilbur Pong. Probably won't happen, but... <clears throat> yeah, these are not the actual teams. Like, there's always going to be teams that are deemed OP. I don't think there's anything... I don't think there's a team on here where I'm like, they've definitely won the event. Honestly, I really don't. I think this, the, the Fruit, Sparkles, Kara, Captain team is pretty scary. Also, what we've got to remember as well is that we'll likely see Sands of Time and Hole in the Wall come back, meaning we'll probably lose two events, two games. Um, I mean, I'm thinking if we get Hole in the Wall back, maybe we lose Parkour Tag because we've just had the same map for like events in a row now. So I'm thinking Parkour Tag Bench, Hole in the Wall back, Sands of Time back, Build Mart Bench. I don't think Rocket Sweep Rush gets benched. Wasn't Battlebox also benched? It was. Yeah, that's a good point. But we could see we could see Battlebox replacing SG or something. I don't know. But to be fair, if anything, I think we see Battlebox and Sansa Time come back with Hole in the Wall missing for now. Didn't Scott say they wouldn't be benching Build Mart till it gets played? I mean, that's the general consensus right now, but it's also the Knox Crew's call, and if they decide to bench it, they decide to bench it, you know? This team's a frightening Build Mart team for Aqua, which could be good because then it would mean that Kratzy... I mean, I don't know how good Kratzy is at... Uh... I don't know how good uh, Kratzy is at. 
build more. Yeah, I mean, as a general, it's one of his worst games, which I, I expected. This is it. I'm locking it in. These are my team predictions for MCC 24. This is what I'm rolling with. Purple Tommy, Rambu, Amesy, Pete, Solidarity in the Littlewood, Pearl, Quig, Tapple, Michael McChill, and Eric. Illumina, Fills a Sneak, Sniff, uh, Puns, Foolish, Gumi, Finn. This is unlikely. I don't think Finn will play, honestly, but. Uh, Sapnap, George, Wilbur, Ponk, Kratzy, Smajor, Five Up, Shovel, Fruit, Sparkles, Corvus, uh, Kara Corvus, Cat and Puffy, H Bomb, Me, Smallish Beans, and G, and Dream, Turbo, Green, and Scar. The range is 1166, which is pretty solid, honestly. The last event range, I mean, that's on season one average, to be fair. Last event range is 531, and average is, for season two is 816. That's about as close as you can get if you were to take actual averages in. But these are my predictions. That's what I'm going with. And now we just hide the VOD so that, um, so that Scott doesn't see it and say, now I'm going to make sure these teams don't exist. <laughs> I think it's a good one. I think it's a good one. You get to see a lot of like strong duos and strong players. You get the purple Tommy duo, which is strong. Quig Tapple would be strong. Philumina, everyone wants all the time. You get to see Satnap with George and Wilbur and Ponk, which I think would be a fun one. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's it. That's what I'm going for. I'm gonna lock these in. Right. I'm also actually going to bounce here, guys. I know it's a little shorter than normal, but I'm going to a Disney premiere tonight. So I'm going to go pee and have a shower and get ready. So uh, I'm going to bounce for now. Thank you so much. This was super fun. We should definitely do this more often where we just like look through the Reddit and stuff. It's been a really chill stream. Uh, thank you to all the new subs, the donators, the bit givers, all that good stuff. Um, you guys are amazing as always. Um, let's see who is, who's live. I feel like we haven't raided for a couple days. Oh, nice. Pete's live. We're going to raid Pete. Guys, go show some love to Pete. Back on his speed run thing. I'm actually learning to speed run tomorrow, I think, by the way. I got Fulham training me. So stay tuned for that. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate you all. See you tomorrow. Be safe. Be good. Don't do anything silly. Goodbye.